Hi, Dan McFarland, your physical therapy assistant and creator of Mobility Max 10 minute home exercise system, here with tips, strategies, and conversation about successful aging. So, what I want to show you are some simple stretches that we can do any place, anytime, and we should be doing all of the time. So, please follow, like, and share, and subscribe. That would be nice. And uh, also, Keep this video so you can practice some of these, these stretches anytime, anywhere. It's great to get warmed up in the morning if you're going to go for a walk or if you're going to do any kind of physical activity like working in the garden or mowing the lawn or going to play golf. So here we go. You don't need any equipment. I've just got a little railing here. And the first thing you want to do is just a little balance exercise but also with a little ankle rotation. So you're going to rotate your ankle, just going to loosen up that ankle joint. It's the first major joint from our feet uh, above the ground and it's responsible for keeping us balanced. Go the opposite way with it. So you're going to go both ways and you're standing on one leg so you're getting strength benefit in that leg you're standing on. Now let's do the other one. So I'm going to go through this a little quicker maybe than you might want to. Just take your time. If you do these stretches and these mobility exercises, equipment free, you're going to see that you just need a little something to hold on to and that's about it. And each exercise should be 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds. So that's the ankle rotation. So next we want to do a calf stretch. You've all seen this. It's uh, what runners do, but it's very important. So you keep your heel on the floor. That's the key. If you keep your heel on the floor, you'll immediately feel the stretch in your calf and your Achilles tendon. Two areas that can really cause you trouble, especially an Achilles tendon rupture. You don't want that. Uh, yeah. So the other side, you want to do that too. You just, we're just feeling for a mild to moderate stretch. So I don't know if you can see my foot but my heel is flat on the floor and I'm sort of arcing back just a little bit to amplify that stretch. Okay, so this next stretch is going to be for the leg and you've probably seen this, but a little twist on this one. I want you to use opposite arm and opposite leg. So I'm going to start like this. I'm going to reach down. I'm going to grab my leg. Yeah, and that allows me to get a little stretch in the top of the foot as well as the thigh. So I'm holding on, I'm going to pivot <laughs> on one leg so you can see what's going on here. And so again, with a, with a stretch like that, it's great for the top of the thigh and the ankle, but it also has you standing on one leg, which is strength and balance. So next, let's do a kind of a groin stretch. You might, you've probably seen this one too. These are so simple. We've seen them before. We've probably discounted them. Exercise doesn't have to be at a gym and it doesn't have to be with expensive, complicated machines. We've got the most complicated machine in the universe. It's our human body. Just give it a little bit of attention. So here's the next one. It's kind of a lunge. I'm gonna balance a little bit here. But, um, so again, the key is to keep that foot flat. Uh, well, excuse me, for this one, we're gonna come up on the toe a little bit because we want more range of motion. And we're really aiming for this inner thigh on the leg that's going back. So just hold that for a moment. You'll feel a nice muscular contraction in your right thigh also, which is power that you're, um, feeding into that right thigh and a nice stretch here. So now let's change it. So yeah, you're going to be on the toe with this one, the back foot on the toe. And that stretches again that Achilles tendon real nice. But your target here is this leg that's back. It's the top of the thigh. So just enjoy that for a moment. Okay. Next uh, is a nice deep squat, but hold on to something. You might want to hold on to your uh, 
your kitchen sink, anything that's stable, and just drop into, oh, and I'm going to go all the way down. This is a really wonderful resting position, and it stretches your low back, your hips, and your knees. So, oh, you'd be surprised how comfortable this is. Okay. Now the next one is for the shoulders and the chest. Watch how easy this is. And again, you could, you could do this at your countertop, at your sink. You're going to take back off a little bit, get a nice wide stance, and then just drop. Drop. Oh boy, that feels so good. That really feels good. That stretches the hamstrings, the shoulders, the back. I've felt a lot of areas of tightness being addressed with that. Uh, here's another shoulder stretch. So watch how we do this. We reach back for the opposite shoulder blade. Then we take the other arm and we help it get into that stretch a little bit. So we're really, as you can see, stretching right along here. So. I'm going to actually give into that a little bit, and I'm going to turn so you can see it. And then you want to do the opposite one. Folks, this is where you'll really find the kind of physical fitness that will be meaningful as you free up the range of motion in your body and get your natural movement patterns back. You're going to feel better, you're going to look better, and you're going to move better. So next are just some simple shoulder shrugs. But we've got to elevate those shoulders occasionally. They're always down and forward, right? We're always this way. Let's counteract that with a conscious effort to just Bring them up, and I like to bring them back too. So see how I'm doing that? I'm bringing them up and back, and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together a little bit. And once I relax, it kind of maintains that position. There's a little bit of muscle memory loss that it left there. Next is a really tall uh, shoulder stretch, arm, and chest stretch. Now I like to do it like this, but before we go to the full stretch. Let's just do the old secretary stretch. There it is right there. Boy, does that feel good to the fingers and the wrists. I hope you're trying this and I hope you're feeling some of the benefits of this. So, because it always feels good. Um, so now we're going to come back to this position with our palms close together and we're going to go straight up over our head. Straight up, straight up, lift, lift, lift. And this will help you get that nice, tall alignment. I'm actually lifting my rib cage. I'm actually separating the vertebrae of my spine a little bit. I'm relieving the pressure on the spinal discs. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. And this feels really good. And now while we're up here, let's come back to this position right here and just hold that for a moment. This is a really powerful uh, stretch and movement. You got the elbows back. You'll tend to want to keep your elbows in, but bring them back and get those shoulder blades back together. Okay, so next, let's do it behind our backs. So like this, grip like this, and let your shoulders and your sh release and your shoulder blades come together. It won't happen at first, but when you, and then lift the arm. So that's what it looks like from the back. Wow, these are great stretches. Now, the next one we want to do is very similar. I'm going to hold my hands together like this, and I'm going to kind of pull down in this direction while tilting my head this way. 
So where do you think that's getting the stretch? Right through this area, right here. So a little more of that. And boy, does that feel good. Okay, so we're almost done with this little routine. Next, uh, we're gonna put our hands, so you're gonna do it like this with your thumbs pointing out and right above your your pelvis and then bring your pelvis forward and your shoulders back your chest back you're gonna get a nice stretch through especially through here through the top of the shoulders okay you ready just a good old-fashioned trunk rotation just gonna turn and look behind you and turn and look behind you now your challenge here is to try to keep your gaze level you're going to want to cheat and get into different positions but think of keeping a nice tall alignment only move as far as you can with good alignment so here we go and then Hold it just a little bit at the end. I mean, that's where the stretch is. The movement in between is not that important. Now to this side. Okay, good, good. Now let's do a little side stretch. Just spread like you're going to do the splits. Haven't done that in a while, have you? And then one leg stays straight and the other bends and you're going to get that stretch right in there again in that really tricky area it's easy to pull a muscle in there and tightness in here really restricts our movement so if you want to have a repertoire of movement that is fluid and graceful uh, then you've got to be flexible so and flexibility does not take equipment it, you can do it at home. So it's a big part of my daily routine with the Mobility Max 10 minute home exercise system that a lot of you know about. That's my door frame mounted exercise bar. There's 20 exercises, I do them in 10 minutes, and they include all of the essential stretches as well as the strengthening. So the last one, let's go back to a junior high school and Bend the knees just a little bit and reach over and stretch those hamstrings. It's not that important that you reach your toes. What you're looking for is a nice stretch here. Oh, I feel so much better already. And if you knew what I went through today, you'd realize this was quite an accomplishment for me. <laughs> I won't go into details. It's kind of a medical thing. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please share this video. Let your friends see what they can do at home in such a short amount of time. Share, like, follow, and I'll see you again sometime with another Mobility Max 10-Minute Home Exercise System video.